too soon. Hi and welcome to another episode of Bleak Burn. Only today we're over here at Blue Water and I have been wanting to play this episode for so long <laughs> because today we are going in here and going to the Gude family. We have here our beloved Krista Gude that is uh, pregnant and I do believe she will have her baby this episode. She is uh, levitating right now, apparently. <laughs> when we left her, there had been like a moving in party uh, or some, some kind of apartment party and she was trying to get with a professor however uh, he decided that he would smooch Marie here and as you all know uh, he just got married to Eileen so um, he's a player <laughs> apparently so but uh, she she didn't get him <laughs> um, and also he was kind of interested in her but she only she can't stop thinking about Glenn uh, so I think I'm gonna try and pursue that. She is two days behind Glenn. Oh, oh this apartment. <laughs> I will I will try to move her as soon as possible because uh, when I built this apartment, I forgot to put a toilet. I think I was going to build one here, but I obviously didn't. So now this whole thing is a bathroom and <laughs> Where would where will the child live if she decides to stay? So no, that can't happen. Also, oh right, I forgot. Krista actually uh, bought this very well behaved dog um, when she was over at the professor, and I have checked. The game actually did deduct her funds uh, because she gave gave like six hundred to the professor and. She had uh, over a thousand when I left her. So the game actually detracted money from her and gave it to the professor and I approve of this. Oh my goodness, she is so very tired. So she um, she doesn't have the energy to discipline the dog for whatever it's doing. What is this layout? Why why is there cabinets over here? It's, I, I don't know. I think I'm gonna sell those. Because then we could put like a TV over there or something. <laughs> I, can't, I can't really figure out what, what I was thinking when I was building all this. Let's have the dog have its food up here. What's this? Park sign. If you heed their warnings, there won't be trouble. Ignore them and it's just common sense to be aware of the face. I don't know what this means. What's on it? It's obviously a mod I downloaded from somewhere. Uh, it's like, don't pee here. I don't know. What is it? Ecupure Park. I must know what it is. Well, it kind of looks like one of these. I have no idea what it is. Let's let, just ignore. I think it might mean that you can't walk your dog here. I don't know. Anyway, or it means that you should walk walk your dog here. <laughs> I'm so intrigued by it. Anyway, I think Krista would. There's like this apartment was like the worst choice for her okay let's just put the dog bed down there and then she can just fill this bowl and sleep marie could you go away what is happening are they in a group with her were they on the outing and then came back i can't well let's see if they do something they should be leaving i think are they going down where did they go no she decides to just watch me sleep you're being creepy There, it's very early Sunday morning and Krista is starving to death. Uh, the dog has been glitching out. Uh, she did ask the professor to leave after... I think what happened was, I was speeding through so I didn't really see, but I think that he might have broken up with Marie here or like told her off, something like that. Um, I need you all to leave. Now she's wearing the clothes. <laughs> <laughs> so weird. Okay, let's have some uh, um, cereal for breakfast. And I hope the baby comes today. It would be fun. We are playing her until Tuesday morning. So there should be time to have the baby. And uh, the thing that I usually do is that if my sims have grandparents, 
then I name babies after them. But Krista here doesn't have any grandparents. So sometimes I use their friends and name their children after their friends. So she might, like since she is BFF here with uh, Katrin, she might uh, name the baby after her or Caroline here. But we have so many sims with the letter C, so, you know, Chanel. Um, I, took a, I took a look uh, in my spreadsheet and I found out that we have no tracked sim on the letter F. So, so I think that I'm going to name the baby something with starting with an F. And I really hope it's a girl because then I'm gonna uh, name her Felicia, which I think is a really nice name. Uh, <laughs> and if it's a boy, then maybe like Felix or... I was thinking Felix isn't that nice. <laughs> and then I started thinking about Phoenix. But, but with an F, uh, it's sort of a little bit out there. I don't... Krista doesn't strike me as the person that would do that. So, yeah, I'm just hoping it's a girl. She does not have work today, but she had a lot of thoughts about Glenn. So I'm going to see if she has a phone. She has a mobile phone. So I'm going to try and call him. Oh dear, there's bills as well. Maybe we pay them first. Wait, does she have a loan of any kind? No, she has a bank account. So maybe she could pay, so she can use the computer to pay the bills. And then we can call, no, call Sim and have a chat with Glenn again and see how that goes. And then if that goes well, we'll try and invite him over. If she could move in with him, that would be a better solution than this weird apartment. Oh, she probably wants to play with the dog as well, since she just bought him. How did she get extra money? I have no idea. There was extra money. <laughs> I'll have to check, check the footage later, but weird. Wait, she has a heart with Steve Ackered. Okay. Well, I'm gonna talk to Glenn anyways, because it is his We're baby. Good. She Shubala, wants Jesus. to have a good relationship with him. She has a crush on Steve. When did, when did that happen? She must have done something um, while I was playing another sim on a com community lot or something. Something like that. I don't know. So maybe she could, you know what, try and ask Glenn on a date. And if he says no, then we go to Steve Mommy. instead. Because she's like kind of on a time crunch here. <laughs> oh, now she's hungry again. <laughs> Sir oh, breakfast oh. cereal. Yeah, okay. Th this is very cute and <laughs> slightly uh -huh. dangerous. What if she throws the stick accidentally down and the dog goes, whoa, oh, gotta get the stick and jumps down. It's danger. Well, there's a, not a really high fall, but it could go bad potentially. Okay, she likes Steve the best and oh, Klabbe Karlsten. Oh my goodness. No, try try with Glenn first. Oh, he says yes. So he'll be over in a few. I mean, they were so cute together and he has some, he's a fortune sim. So he, he has, he doesn't have a lot, a lot of money, but he has ambition. So he will probably will have a lot of money. So probably a good idea. Now she wants to talk to Glenn. Well, is he going to come in? Okay, eat that so you don't starve. We have time. Maybe he will come inside. Where did he go? I lost my date. Oh, he's over here. He's, <laughs> he's walking up the stairs. Okay, let's chat with him now. Talk. Oh, that's impossible, apparently. Oh my, aren't you popular? What happened now? Oh, she had a bad conversation. Now she's afraid that Glenn is going to get stinky. Oh no. He, she also wants to play with him, but someone is calling. Who's that? Alvin. What? Go away, Alvin. Um, talk? No. Play... Uh, tickle him. Because it's the shortest animation, <laughs> so I usually do that. Oh, she could apologize to him. That's a good idea, Krista. Apologize for leaving him when you were getting married. Because now you kind of need a father to this baby. Like this situation up here is not good. Her lifetime want is to graduate three children from college. 
So I am going to give her the super fertility trait because she is so old. <laughs> She's 46 years old and she doesn't have a lot of time to get all those children that she needs. So twins yeah. would be preferable at some point. But I think it's already determined if this is a twin or not. I don't, I'm not sure. Propose, move in. Uh, we can't do that right now because they're not synced. And if anything, he should ask her to move in. Just because uh, he has a nice house, they were living there before, so she should like to come home. The date is going so and so, but she wants to be best friends with him. And uh, he might come around. He might forgive her for, for getting cold feet and running away. Don't know. Okay, can you like also take food so I don't feel weird <laughs> eating it alone? Now I lost him again. Where did he go? Probably went to find somewhere good to sit and eat that. Oh, he's way over here. <laughs> oh goodness, and she is so tired. Well, she wants to dine out, but I don't want to leave the house because I want her pregnancy to progress. So let's just go over and talk to him and see how that goes. Oh, she's going to bed. No, don't do that. Or she can give him Aragorn. Would that be smart? I'm not sure that's smart. Do a friendly hug instead. Hey, I'm just thinking she's gonna have a baby soon and if she she's gonna have to be here until Tuesday morning at least. So if she gives him the dog then he can take care of it. But maybe she needs the company. I don't know. Um we'll have to stop that. Try and do a romantic kiss and see what happens. She's gonna fall asleep on the floor. I know it. But it's fine. As long as the hunger meter doesn't go down too much. She's not gonna die at, at least. Do a charm on him. See now, there she fell. But it's fine. Try and make out with him. Their relationship is starting to get better again. It's, I'm glad. Because... I didn't, I really didn't like that they fell out of love. It, it wasn't good. Can we make up twice? Mm. The date is great now at least. So I'm gonna try and make it a dream date. Maybe she will get some money for it. Yes, she got him to be best friends and now she wants to hug him. So let's do a squeeze. It's a dream date. He might bring a present. Why is she thinking about her? Hey, you're you're dating me. Stop being. But I have been uh, thinking that I should rebuild this apartment lot because just because there's no bathroom up here, I don't like that. And also this, I didn't know what to do here, <laughs> so it's way too big. Um, it looks weird. We could like squeeze more apartments in instead. I think that would be better. Well, it is a dream date and she fell asleep. So let's just uh, end the date. End the date. Why did it Why did it do that? The game sheets me of the dream date. It was a dream date. Well, I don't know why that happened. That was weird. <laughs> she wants to find a roommate. Where, where would you put that roommate? Huh? Well, she got a little bit of energy because the date was so good. So now they're dancing. She wants to classic dance with him and I don't know how to do that. Oh, dance classic. And reached creativity level one. I don't know why. Glenn eventually went home and Krista was to too tired. So she uh, decided to have a little nap over here at the park bench. The dog is just doing whatever because uh, she really does. She should have given the dog to Glenn. I'm sure she he would have uh, raised it better. But it is like it is now. And she just aged up. So Krista is now 47. Didn't I say Glenn went home? He's still here. <laughs> I thought he went home. Oh no, no, she, she is so tired and so miserable. I'm just gonna have to try and get her up. Where's the bed? The bed just disappeared. I, how is this even possible? What is going on in my game? I don't know. Well, we'll have to buy a new bed. I don't know. Let's have this one. Wait, let's not. <laughs> let's have the cheapest double bed. I can't even remember what color it was that she had. It's probably red. I have her as red. 
in my spreadsheet. But I'm thinking that we want to prepare a little bit for the baby and get the baby a bed. I don't want to put it in here because it's now our bathroom. <laughs> It's so bad. Maybe the dog can sleep in there and then I can afford maybe no I can't afford a changing table. Well, that's kind of too bad. I'm gonna put down a uh, I always do the blue ones. Maybe I don't want the blue one. Maybe I want another color Maybe I want the yellow one and a nice little spaceship <laughs> Wait, uh, let's have a check at her personality. She is, she is shy. And that is her m most distinct personality trait, that she is shy. Uh, she's fairly neat. She's kind of serious. Well, yeah, she, she doesn't really have much of a personality besides being shy. But that's fine, that's who she is. And that's, uh, that's why she went into politics. Doesn't make any sense, does it? Oh, come on, go and sleep now. Someone must have stolen the bed. I don't... Does that happen in The Sims 2? Did we get a robber? I don't understand what happened. Also, this lot has, like, some sort of routing issue here. Like, it's very easy for The Sims to get all... Oh no, <laughs> she fell asleep again. Oh, she's gonna have to eat. She's gonna have to... Oh my goodness, try and get up there. She's sleeping standing up. I wish I could do this. It's very handy. How do I wake her up? Wake up! Oh no, she's sad. What memory is making you sad? Because you have a lot of them. Maybe because she peed her, her pants or lost the professor as a best friend or caught Professor Elwing cheating or the other times she had an accident. Or when she passed out. I mean, it could be a number of things. Why did you leave the elevator here? That's not smart. Well, <clears throat> the dog doesn't seem to be starving and that's all I uh, care about right now. What happens now? We don't know. I'm just trying to keep my sims alive at this point. <laughs> that's not going so well. Oh, the food got stinky. What is happening down here? Toda is smooching Simone. Okay. The dog is glitched out again. I'm just gonna leave it there. <laughs> yeah, better make that bed, Krista. It's very important. Yes, I know. But could you, like, grab a juice or something and then clean that up? Dog, get out of... <laughs> Get out of the way, dog! What are you doing? Can I lock this door for the dog? Disallow pets. You are not allowed in there. Good boy. <laughs> Did you have the juice? No. People that need the juice, juice, juice for the people juice who need to the have juice, juice. Want the juice. I need the juice. Like have dinner, instant meal, because we don't have time to cook something before she starves. This is kind of stressful okay it's monday morning and krista just woke up and i have a feeling that she needs to make the bed properly before she does anything else it's very important <laughs> oh my goodness <laughs> and the baby is coming yeah that's really hurt that hurts yes especially when you're having a baby in your heels like, who, who does that? Let's see if we have a little cutscene. There's a new member of family. That, that text really didn't present itself long enough for me to read it. Baby! What, why is there a platinum thumb up there? Ah, where's the baby? Let me see the baby. Oh my goodness. It has blue eyes and like, oh, it's a boy. Are we doing the Phoenix thing then? Now she wants to get married. Well, I'm gonna name him Phoenix, but I'm gonna use the PH spelling because yeah. <laughs> His little Phoenix go there. Oh, he's cute. Is that brown hair he has on his eyebrows? Yes, he has brown hair and blue eyes. Dark blue eyes, no less. Can't wait to f find out what his personality is. I'm gonna... I, 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 um, <laughs> I have to add him to my spreadsheet now. And because he's the first child of a played sim, 
like Kesta here is one of my played sims, uh, then he inherits the played status. So he is going to always be played. I'm never gonna put him as a townie. He's also inheriting that from Glenn, and that means that I just decreased <laughs> the number of played sims by one for the next generation because if Glenn here had his first child with someone else that wasn't played, then it would stay the same. And I, <laughs> this is how I deal with the overpopulation thing, because if you just add Sims to your played list, and uh, in the end you will not get through a rotation because you have so many sims to play. Also when they move together in households you'll get fewer households to play. I'm gonna lock the get married want in for her and we are going to try and make that someone that she marries uh, Glenn because he is the father of the child and I see no reason why he shouldn't be. So here we have Krista Gode sitting here alone in her apartment with a little baby and <laughs> having an instant meal because she really didn't have energy to cook something. And I think she's going to go to bed because the baby is sleeping and when the baby is sleeping you should try and do that too. <laughs> and that means of course when you have a baby and you're sleeping all the time the baby is sleeping and you're taking care of the baby all the time when it's not sleeping that you're not doing anything else which can like be a problem when you're alone trust me Krista's bank deposit account has gained interest of 300 oh now the carpool will soon arrive she will have to hurry and get a nanny um, call service because we don't want the baby to be taken away which will happen if you leave it alone it's not like in the sims 4 where you can just go away and it just sorts itself out adoption service no i don't think so uh nanny i'd be happy to take care of your little ones just to let you know my fee is ten dollars ten simoleons and then an additional 15 simoleons per hour if you'd like i can keep track of your schedule in my calendar so that i will always be there for your kids when you can't be do you want me to go ahead and set up set that up or did you just want to hire me for now. We want her to track our schedule. So once we've done that, then we don't have to keep track of it. Okay, and by the looks of it, you'll be out of the house from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. By the way, when you get promoted, you might have to rehire her like this because otherwise she might be on the old schedule. <laughs> you'll have nothing to worry about because I will be there. Okay, check food supplies and have Oh dear. Yeah, well, take care of the baby. Oh, I can't right click the baby. Okay. Uh, food level zero? No, fresh food level zero. <laughs> Current level, uh, quite a lot of food. Old Phoenix, what? Oh, he has a diaper, changed the diaper. But since we don't have a diaper changing table, she will just do that. Maybe we can buy one. Take the diaper before you leave and then go to work. I have no idea what the dog is doing. It'll do something. I can't just bring myself to leave the little ones home alone. What? I called the nanny. Isn't she going, going to come? <gasps> the, the car who left. Okay. Well, then call service. We'll have to walk to work. I think that was not fair. Nanny. Food. Nanny, you should come here. Oh, Glenn is here. <laughs> uh, oh. Never mind, she's she's here now, but mm, she wasn't in time for for the work. Okay. We I think there's a way to walk to work. Usually I don't allow them to walk to work. Uh so that if, if they like um miss the carpool, they miss that day of work. But in this instance <laughs> <laughs> I think the game kind of cheated me, so I'm going to allow it. Is the nanny trying to take care of the dog? Oh, this is a big tree. What, what is going on? <laughs> Those trees are huge. <laughs> well, he went to pee in the forest. I approve of that. <gasps> she got promoted. That That is fantastic. Krista has been promoted to lobbyist, a special interesting interest group to influence local politicians hires you. Heavy social skills and lots of friends are needed to advance in this career. You must win friends and influence and influence people. Charisma skill is essential to progress in a political career. Krista now works from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. starting immediately. Krista brought home 500 
and for today and got a bonus of 1008 and that's lucky because the rent is due also here's a rose that someone put here and someone is calling so many things happening yet no one is coming to greet you krista <laughs> <laughs> the baby is too small to do that. <laughs> but I understand that she's very proud to get the promotion. This is our rose, apparently. So I'm gonna sell that for some extra cash. And does that mean that the nanny is leaving or do I need to dismiss her manually? Where is she? I can't find the nanny, so maybe she's not here anymore. Oh, there she is. I hate when that happens with her teeth. She That looks really weird. How is she feeling? She is a bit tired, but she could call Glenn again. Oh, we don't even have to call him. He's already here. So let's just greet him. Oh my goodness, look at how cute they are. Can we show the baby to him? Is that possible? Let's try and hold him, little Finn. Phoenix Glen. No, not <laughs> Phoenix Glen. <gasps> she fears not being old and never married. Oh dear. Because she will be an elder in eight days and she is afraid that Glen will die, yeah. ruining her chances, <laughs> I guess. Oh my goodness. I need that. Okay, let, let's see. I'm just gonna check a thing. No, that's not how you check that. I really want to move Krista to another apartment, but feed baby. Look, Glenn, here's your little baby, Phoenix Gude. He could be a Phoenix Perla if we got married. <laughs> can we, like, um, I want to hand him the baby or something. Can I do that? We can ask him to take my picture. Will he do it? While breastfeeding. I think this is a good idea. Oops. Bear with me. This is gonna be a really good picture. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> okay, that was difficult you know what i'm gonna i'm gonna give him the dog uh because krista doesn't have the capacity to take care of both the dog and the baby right now so he could take the dog i guess okay are you done are you sure you want to give aragon away yes because it's a nice dog and she does want to keep him but right now he will have a better time with Glenn and then they can move in together later and then she, he, she has the dog again. <laughs> it's, it's fine. Glenn! Hey, where are you? Give pet. Oh, propose stay the night. That's a really good idea too. Let's do that. Yes, we want. We still want to give the dog away. No, I want to give you the dog, not sell you the dog. All right, okay, I, I thought that would work. Simone is over there being smooched by Stan. Okay, we don't have an adjuster. Now we do. It got spawned over here. It's That's fine. I'm going to leave it there. <laughs> Someone put a pile of uh, phone books over there. Oh, she's also... Wait, since Krista managed to have the baby Monday morning, just before tax calculations were done, she is eligible for a uh, thousand simoleons in tax reductions because she lives in an apartment and not a house. So she doesn't have uh, estate tax to pay. So that means she ends up on a, a positive result. As you know, taxes are always calculated on Mondays. Did she just age up? Yes, she did. That means that she is... Krista is now 48 and little Phoenix is 1. So he's going to age up tomorrow, I think. Yes, Phoenix birthday is only one day away. It seems like only yesterday that a little bundle of joy came into this world. Oh, how quickly they grow up. I'm so curious about Phoenix personality, so I would want to have the birthday party now. But Krista is so tired she cannot have a birthday party right now she she just wants to go to bed so that will have to wait until tomorrow and that will be on the first day of the spring season for her when she has bills again i don't know if glenn went home or not but Krista is having the full responsibility of the baby and she goes, man, I'm so tired. What if your father could just change your diaper when you're waking up in the middle of the night, feed the baby and then clean that up? Oh, we can afford a changing table now. We should buy that. Um, and I think she will want to have the nicer changing table. I said this was going to be a TV area, but now it's a baby area. 
<laughs> oh, also, I think I made a mistake. Krista needs 10,000 to be able to move to be able to move to a nicer area of apartments. She cannot afford a house, uh, I think. Actually, let's check on that. I, no, I'm fairly certain she cannot afford any sort of house. Because the rule for buying a house is that you need to either have 20,000 to buy an empty lot where you can build a house, uh, then you will get approved by the city council. But you can also buy an empty house. Uh, there's one here that costs 23,000. You actually need to have the money or this one for 13,000. You need the money plus 5,000 to be able to decorate uh, and such and be able to afford uh, the bills and taxes and everything. So, I mean, there are two empty lots here, but so yeah, she has some, some saving up to do. Over here in Pleasant City, you can uh, rent an apartment that is 1,300 and rule is you need uh, 10 times the money for that uh, in household funds. And so that means you need 13,000 to be able to move in here. It's a lot of money that Krista doesn't have. And those rules I set up is, I mean, I just made those rules up, but they they were kind of nice uh, when I restrict them to that. I don't have money issues. She could change uh, to another apartment in here, but I kind of like that I don't like this apartment because it gives me an incentive to, to move out. She has uh, successfully added 500 simoleons to her bank deposit account and she now, now has 5,800 in there. Right, since she wants to graduate three children from college, I think she would want to become pregnant again. Continue on that road. So is Glenn here? <laughs> yes, he is. So let's uh, do a little charming on him and see if we can get pregnant again because that's a good idea in this situation. I mean, she's not getting any younger. That's how she handles that. Yeah, yeah, I know you're very tired, but go flirt with this man. Charm him. Huh, Asta apparently thinks Glenn is very attractive. Yes, I know, he is. Make out with him and then... Wait, what is their relation like? I don't remember, do you need the red heart to be able to woohoo? I think you might need the red heart. So let's try and get that. Hug him romantically. Also flirt and charm. Oh, the dog is really hungry. Ugh. Okay, well, I, I don't have time for you now, dog. <laughs> what is happening? Be also feed pet. Well, we could do give love and feed it a treat. Uh, and then get back to Glenn. She's gonna fall asleep on the floor again. I mean, that always happens. Oh, sweet talk. That's a good idea. When I play my Sims, it tends to happen <laughs> that they fall asleep on the floor. Yes, I know you're tired. Let's go and relax here and see if he comes. Oh, now we got the red heart. Fantastic. Do the ask Glenn to join. Don't waste any time. Can't they go in the elevator together? Oh, wait. I, th I think... Oh, look, 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 look. No, I think you can... Wait, wait. <laughs> oh, no. There is a, a possibility to woohoo in the elevator. Should have done that. But, you know, Krista, she might not be that adventurous, so maybe she just um, goes for bed. Oh, you know what you need to do? What is happening over here? Yes, very nice pillar. What? Something happening somewhere? What? Who knows? If a sim has low motives like this, you could have them, like, daydream or read a book until the other one gets there. That way they stay in the bed and you get the option to uh, interact with them in the bed. Yeah, Krista, are you sure this is a good idea? I mean, I know it's your lifetime one to have children graduate from college, but you know there's adoption, right? Well, she's gonna try for baby. And I have decided that I'm not going to do like deciding that they are infertile and stuff. Everyone can always try for baby once a day. So I'm gonna, since it's already Tuesday, I'm gonna mark that Krista tried for baby uh, Tuesday. Question if, if I allow, yeah, I'm gonna mark that on Glenn as well. 
And I think this is a good uh, spot to leave them in. Uh, she had her baby this episode. She's making headway with Glenn. She might even get to propose to him in the next episode. And in the next episode I play her, I will also age up little Phoenix. Uh, we will see what his personality is like. And, and I can't wait for that to happen either. So until next time, have a super duper time. Uh, don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe. And take care. Bye bye.